Melody Babe Screaming her throat away Sharpen my blade so the cut is clean Can you tell me how to get, how to get to Psycho Street? Yeah! Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. Mark the Movie Man here, and today we're going to take a look at Psycho Street, an independent horror film brought to us by Muscle Wolf Productions. Yes, a production company started by a group of individuals so muscular they could crack my head like a walnut with their bicep, okay? Now we get to the story of Psycho Street. It's an anthology collection of short horror films, and the wraparound story stars Tiffany Shepis as Layla Barker. Gotta love that name, okay? And you can tell Tiffany's having a lot of fun in this film. You may recognize that name from a number of other other B-horror films, including uh, Bonnie and Clyde versus Dracula, okay? But she's been in such a, she's got such a long list, a very talented individual, and you can tell she has a lot of fun in this role. There's, in fact, there's so many very talented people in here, it's going to be hard to really name them all, but I'll put the link down below, you can check out the cast, okay? We get some great stories in this anthology, too. We get a story about a hypochondriac who keeps coming into this medical clinic in Cronenberg uh, because she's performing her medical procedures because things just aren't feeling right and oh man the dialogue and they, they, this is a little bit lighter than say uh, the other two stories in this but no doesn't mean it's not uh, as, just as fun okay they have a lot of great fun in here dialogue is great uh, and performance are, are doing great with the script you know and it's not a deep story at all it's a very rather comical humorous yet gory uh, look at the uh, concept of a hypochondriac, as well as the other goings-ons in this small town uh, medical clinic. So definitely enjoyed that story. Uh, it was a great way to start off the anthology. Then you get this really kind of uh, very sexually themed uh, and a bit intense at parts and very gory as well. Uh, is story of, uh, it's a cannibal type story. I'm not going to dig too much because uh, I don't want to give too much away of it, but I thought it was very creative and a standout actress uh, in this one though was Kaylee Williams. Uh, she does great as uh, the vulnerable girl. She's kind of tied to this bed and she's having things done to her, but she goes from vulnerable to evil like that. We've seen her in Mediatrix, the Wisconsin homegrown horror film brought to us by Corey Udler, uh, and she again brings that talent to this story, and she really stands out in this uh, story, and I really like the concept of it as well. Again, it wasn't a really deep story, and it seemed like a little bit at the end they were having a you know, trying to kind of figure out how to end it. Uh, but overall, I really enjoyed it, and there's some great performances in there. And special effects, again, you can't tell that this is an independent film. They do bring some high production value to all the special effects in all of the stories that are in this anthology. There's another one in here that really has the look, the feel, just the overall effect of a 70s cult horror film, okay? I love the costuming and the production design and everything about it, from the great film to the uh, exploitation parts of it you know you got your gratuitous TNA you got your gore in there and it's got a really solid story and an interesting story that really made you carry that just carried you along and making you want to see how it was gonna play out and I really loved that bit uh, overall Psycho Street is a great collection of horror shorts that's got a very large group of talented independent film individuals who, you know, this film, the only thing that any of these independent films we cover is, uh, it seems to be lack of money is the only thing they're lacking. They're not lacking in talent. They're not lacking in production design or look or writing. They're just lacking in money. That's why these independent films need their support. Go to the festival. Psycho Street is definitely worth your time. Just a lot of fun, especially if you're a fan of horror films. Not just independent horror films, but horror films in general. Uh, definitely want to check it out. Um, you, you know, if you see them at a festival, go see them. I'll put their website down below as well. And Tiffany Shepis, who was in the wraparound story, will be at the Madison Horror Film Festival. So excited. Hope I get a chance to meet her. Uh, hopefully, maybe even get an interview. If we do, it'll definitely be up on the show. But check that out. Madison Horror Film Festival is going to be November 3rd and 4th. Tiffany's going to be there along with the guy who played the maniac. 
Uh, Cop, he's going to be there. I mean, there's so many fun things going to be happening there. Definitely got to check that out. And in one week, we've got the Oshkosh Horror Film Festival, which I will also bring you coverage from that. That's going to be a lot of fun as well. Again, supporting independent horror. Folks, you need to do this because I, I this is where original stuff's coming from. And the only thing these people are lacking is support from the general public. So... Do what you can. Go to their sites. Let them know, you know how you feel and see what you can do to help. Because by going to the festivals and going to their sites and seeing them and spreading the word, maybe we can get some of these talented individuals the exposure they deserve. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep the